want to use the card. That would work like that. And of course, you could use the key. What's up, guys? This is Tampa Tech, and this is the Smonet Smart Lock, or if you want to pronounce it, Smonet. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's slide this out. Now, what's really unique about this lock, there's many different ways to lock and unlock the Smart Lock. You use your app on your phone, an IC card, fingerprint, and it has a keypad as well. And as you notice, there's a key you can use as a backup. There's also anti-theft alert in case someone keeps on trying the password and fails. It works for left handle and right handle doors. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. And we got, looks like templates, which is really good. So if you have a brand new door, you can drill the hole using the templates, which is really nice. Oh wow, that has a tool. This is like the only one I know has a screwdriver and a drill bit. This is not a lot of smart locks come with these tools. So we got a drill bit and a screwdriver. And you got a door strike and you got the keys in here and you got the IC cards. Now these are very small too. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove this. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's pretty heavy actually. This feels durable. Very strong build. I could tell. Double A batteries. So this is going to be fairly easy with these pictures. All right, before you get started, make sure you have the template and you want to make the holes that you need for the door. And also note that it does come with a strike plate, but you may not need to swap it out. I'm going to use my existing strike plate. So uh, hopefully it works with it. If it doesn't, then I'll swap it out. Now there's two templates. This one fits for my door. All right, so for the latch, you wanna make sure you adjust it so it's center, this piece is center inside the hole, and you can slide it back and forth just like so. And you wanna make sure this is going toward the door strike plate. You slide it in, and make sure this is rectangle shape. If this right here area is not, then you wanna get a flathead screwdriver, right, and then hammer that and make sure you have a rectangle shape so the latch fits flush. So it has to fit flush right in here. If it's sticking out a little bit, it won't work and it won't shut properly. So I have my drill set on five torque so I don't strip out the screws inside the door. This piece right here is upright and centered. Now right here on the bottom, this is the speaker and this is a micro USB, so you can plug in power. If it does run out of power, you can connect it and then access the keypad that way. And you wanna put these on fairly tight because when you put the screws in, you wanna make sure everything fits in nice and tight. All right. So let's go ahead and do a, one, a quarter turn. Make sure it's snug. Don't over tighten. You wanna make sure everything is snug. And probably a one eighth turn, like that. All right, so now you have this piece with the hole in it. All right, and you wanna line it up with the hole on top right here. And then you're gonna take this pin, lock pin, and then you're gonna Slide it down right in here, just like that. So now it's locked in. Everything up, just like so. And then hold your hand here so it doesn't fall out. So this is hitting the bottom of this lock. So I'm gonna have to loosen this one and then tighten this one down. Now keep in mind, it's probably best to have this out so you don't lock yourself out because when you put the batteries in, it's gonna lock you out. Now we got it. There we go. Next, you wanna grab this plate, which is soft on one side 
and hard on the other side. Obviously that goes toward the door and you want to run the cable. As you can see, the cable goes under the latch right here and you want to run it through this hole and you want to line this hole with here. Now I have one long screw that has a flat head and let's go ahead and put that on the top. All right, and then to tighten the top one last. Let's go under this wire right here. I think it'll probably fit better. And then let's go ahead and connect this. Make sure it latches. And then you wanna tuck it in. Make sure you don't cover up this square hole. And that rod goes right there in the hole. Line up the holes right here. That slides up a little bit. So this, let's move this up a little bit, hold it up, screw it in. Lithium batteries do last longer, but they may overpower the circuit and mess up the circuit. So it's best to use either rechargeable batteries or even better yet, they recommend alkaline batteries, double A alkaline batteries. I have rechargeable batteries, that's all I got. Go ahead and put the cover on, just like that, and we're done and the app is called TT Lock. All right, so once you set it up, you wanna program your password right here under passwords. Just click on this and you can generate a password. Now you can generate a random password or what you could do is you can actually create a custom password four to nine digits long, which is really cool. You can make it permanent or temporary, one time use only, which is great for B&B or you know, visitors or something like that. And let's go ahead and go back. Now, there's a bunch of ways to lock and unlock this door. I'm gonna go ahead and show you and demonstrate. And you can also use the app. So in passwords, let's go ahead and we can generate a password. Let's go, go ahead and do that. And just for the sake of the video, I'm just using this for just one time use only. Actually, let's do that. There we go. Put that code in. Oh, to lock it, you just tap right here. So, or, or you can set it to lock after like 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and put the password in. Five, seven, five, eight, nine, five, eight, and then pound. All right, now if we're gonna put the code in again, all right, let's go ahead and lock it. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, put the code in again. Now you have to hear the beep. All right, now it tells you you're not authorized. So if you keep on trying to put the password in, I think that's two times, it's three times four times, five times the alarm goes off. All right, and even if you have the fingerprint, it won't, you, you won't be able to get in. You have to unlock it through the app. Now it also comes with a bunch of keys, like five keys I believe, and two IC cards. Okay, so if you wanna use the card, that would work like that. And of course you can use the key. After installing the Smonet Smart Lock, I could tell you this thing is so convenient to have. Kids are coming in and out with ease. I don't have to worry about my kids losing the key around the neighborhood or at school. And they could just use their fingerprint, go in and out of the house, no problem. I could add more fingerprints if I wanted or delete fingerprints from the Smart Lock app. And what's really cool about the app 
is that it actually records the history of people coming in and out of your house, which is great. So if you know anyone that may find this smart lock helpful in their life, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys are interested in this smart lock for yourselves, check out the link in the video description below. Subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.